Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ruin Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, we made a ridiculous amount of money. And in this episode, there's a festival waiting us. So, before we start the festival, I'm actually going to go around the farm and just kind of crack everything open. You know, do the normal routine of just clearing everything out. So give me just a moment. Alright, we're going to clear out the field in here as well. Alright, and now we're going to head up to Mount Gigant, waste a bit of our energy before 9am rolls around. Then we're going to spend a lot of our day just talking to people in town and, you know, seeing what the festivities are all about. So while I'm here, I'm just going to ship all the junk and other things that I want to sell. There we go. And that was a level 10 gold, by the way. So, you know, I'm doing pretty nicely for myself. Hey, Russell. Good morning. My Cecilia's been fidgety all morning. She's growing up so quickly. To be honest, though, I'm a bit restless myself. Okay. Today, today is the Spring Festival. Uh, we don't have cookies for you, but hear me out on this. I have strawberries. Thank you very much. Morning. I can't wait to give Melody a cookie today. You're just wearing your heart on your sleeve, aren't you? Morning. Today is the Spring Festival. Xavier and Tori are so nervous, it's funny. Good morning. Today's the Spring Festival. When I was a lad like you, I always used to look forward to this day. Good morning. It's the Spring Festival today, Raguna. Do you have anyone special to give cookies to? Well, I would give cookies if I had a kitchen. Good morning. I wonder if Nicholas will give me any cookies today. I really want to give Cece some cookies this year, but it's kind of embarrassing, you know? Good morning. It's the Spring Festival today. It's an event that young people really look forward to, I'm sure. Good morning. It's the Spring Festival today. I wonder how many cookies I'll get. Good morning. I'm gonna give Miss cookies, of course. Raguna, don't you give her any cookies. It's, today, it's cookie day today. <laughs> Good morning. It's the spring festival today. Raguna, do you have a special girl to give cookies to? I don't have anyone to give cookies to because I have no cookies to give. Kind of boring, you remember? Morning. It's the spring festival today. Did anyone give you a cookie? Just that smug look like, yeah. You're the girl here. It's the Spring Festival today. I can't wait. Good morning. It's the Spring Festival. Eh? Unfortunately, being a man means I have to give presents. Good morning. Today is the Spring Festival. Today is a special day for girls. Good morning. The Spring Festival is wonderful. Love is nutrition for the heart. It should be noted that since it is a festival today, if you get a checkup, today's festival day, so I'm giving checkups for free. Now then, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Alright, you're as good as new. Nothing appears to be broken. If you ever have status ailment and you're like a day before, you can always wait to save the money. If you've been pressing ahead like I have, you don't really need to, but it is an option. Morning. It's the Spring Festival. When I was a kid, I used to get nervous giving girls cookies. <laughs> It's the Spring Festival looking at me now. Would you believe I got so many cookies on this day when I was young? Yes, you're beautiful. Hush yourself. Good morning. It's the Spring Festival. It's criminal for a man not to give the girl he likes cookies on this day. That means I'll have to give cookies to Rosetta, eh? Good morning. It's the Spring Festival today. <laughs> Don't you think we should start a custom where adults give each other wine? No. <laughs> I don't think that they need to get drunk on a festival. You can do that if you want to. Good morning. 
Hey, it's the Spring Festival today. Did you know that men give a present of cookies or chocolate cookies to the lady that they are interested in? Yes, yes I did. Problem is that I don't have either of those things. Good morning. It's the Spring Festival today, I. Eh? Well, it don't concern me. It's the Spring Festival today. I hear there is a custom of giving cookies. This is so weird. I mean... Other cultures. But it's really not that weird. Uh, they kind of have gift-giving things everywhere in the world. So the fact that you think it's weird to give gifts to the people you like is weird to you. So, you know, forget you. I'm going to run in here real quick, grab some energy, and then we're going to get to grinding out the rest of the day. Sadly, we can't really do anything else because, once again, no cookies. So for the most part today, I'm just going to be mining, I'm going to be killing monsters. This isn't stuff that I really want to... I'll just show the highlights of, I guess, and I'll show you the after effect of getting what items I get. So if I get a bunch of level 10 gold, I'll show you that at the end of this. Also, it should be noted that a little bit later in the day, I'll go around looking for more wood in the dungeons. That way we can keep that collection going. Skill up. Skill up once again. Level up, nice. Come here to grab a bunch of runes. Now let's head into Taurus Cave to go see if there's any logs. And now as 6pm rolls around, I believe the festival is ending. So this is the cutoff. If you had cookies, give them now. Otherwise, you know, let your heart rest. You know, I think rather than just leaving the cave here, I'm just gonna pop one of these potions. Now back to work. Skill up once again. Okay. Chop down these weeds and I'm done here. Barely, but I, d I am. I barely had enough energy to do that. Actually, while I'm here, there's still some more energy here, so I can grab this stuff. Okay, as far as selling items go today, I got a level 6 gold, a level 10 gold, level 8 gold, level 4 gold, level 3 gold. I got 4 scrap iron, and 4 earth crystals. And that's how I spend my day. And the next day. It's finally holiday, which means we can actually buy from Ivan once again. But until then, let's go take care of our normal routine. Let's grind in the morning, then spend the rest of the day talking to everyone, grinding some more, and just trying to get that wood kiln up. Nice. A stump in here. Skill up. Hey, Ivan. Hello. Hey, Raguna. Let me see what you have. I recommend this today. Finally, we can buy utensils. Let's buy the knife set. Cost 1,000 G. And how about the frying pan? I didn't actually see the number there, so I want to go back in. It costs 1,500. So that's 2,500. Seven hundred. Okay, so I do not believe we can buy any of these three items. So it's going to cost you thirty-two hundred for these first three items. So yeah, I believe you need an oven to make tasty food. It costs two thousand. You need a large kitchen though, so it's not really for us today. That's unfortunate, but. What are you going to do? 
Also, I think I'll run around and start talking to people. I believe I can't go into anyone's... Yeah, I can't go into the clothes shops right now. But I can at least stop by here and say hello. Good, thanks. It goes without saying, Bianca is the treasure of my life. Even more valuable than these pickles. Pickles? Wow. Someday when I can find that white stone, I can come here too and, and get... Interesting. Good morning. I wonder who will be the next couple married in this church. Some people say the grimoire is a messenger of the divine. What do you think now that you've actually fought one? Morning. If there's one thing I wish I could do, it'd be to undo that mistake I made. If I could have done that, Sabrina wouldn't be so angry. Did you anger Sabrina? <laughs> I guess this kid is a bit enthusiastic. Interesting. That's actually the beginning of a side quest. If you talk to him here talking about that, then I believe you can talk to him on a rainy day when he's at the bar? I will go into more detail on those things later, but this is a bit of a long running side quest you want to do before you end up getting married or end up finishing the game. Either one, I think? So just keep that in mind. I've never been married, but I've never once felt lonely. Everyone in this town comes to my bar and it feels like they're all my family. Running a bar, I get to see many different sides to my customers' personalities. That's a lot of fun. That girl May comes from a distant land. Supposedly Lucas is a poet, but if you ask me, he's just a plain old womanizer. The fact that Grimoire is a dragon kind of throws a wet blanket on it. What is with you people and dragons? I wonder where the big shell came from. They say you can talk to the outside world with this big shell. Pretty amazing, huh? Not as amazing as the Samethyst. The large, strange shells of the beach are known overseas. I'm thinking of marking them as a special feature of the town. Picking strawberries so I can give them as gifts. Okay, I level 5 gold, 4 level 1s. I level 8, a bunch of scrap iron, 4 of these, and I'll ship an entire stack of these. You know, it's not really necessary to do every, like, just to stockpile items just for the sake of stockpiling them. I know I'm gonna get a lot more of them, so... Might as well make a little bit more money off them. And now, ten episodes later, we're finally gonna go back to fishing. We now have a working kitchen, so, you know, might as well start getting these going. Catch some fish and start cooking. Fish are an excellent gift, both as a raw material and as a cooked ingredient. So, if you want to make money, fish. If you want a gift, fish. Mind you, making money at this point in the game, it's just best of mine, but if you really just enjoy fishing, don't like moving around and all that, then this is a good way to do it. So we're just hoping for some fish right now that I can actually cook. That way I can start giving gifts to people. In the coming days, I'll keep up my mining and my woodcutting and all that, but I'll also start going to the dungeons to fish as well. That way I can show off everything. Okay, that's good enough fishing for now. I'm gonna start cooking. I have something in my notes here about an advanced frying pan, but I don't remember there being an option for that. So maybe it means I have to have a large kitchen to be able to cook this, but let's try. I did it, so I don't know what the advanced frying pan was. Yeah. Sardine sashimi. Oh, that was a mackerel. So this right here is exactly why I was grinding, using up all my RP at the end of every day. Because I want to be able to cook these easily whenever I got my kitchen. Oh. It looks like I just wasn't high enough level to make that one. Oh, apparently fried mackerel is actually a level 30 dish. So yeah, of course I'd fail. Okay, we're gonna sell a salmon sashimi for 600, a sardine sashimi for 160, and a salted salmon for 350. 
It should be noted that in this game, when you use higher level fish or higher level ingredients in general, it does not affect the quality of your cooking. In later games, it does directly compare to them. It like takes an average, I think, of all the ingredients you added. But in this one, it does not. So, you know, if you have a really good squid or something, you might not want to cook it. You might just want to sell it or gift it or something like that. Oh, I didn't, I just kind of skipped through the first part of that. Come and see me anytime if you want to talk to me this much. We can now visit her out of hours, so if we wanted to talk to Melody during the morning, we totally could come here. It doesn't really serve a purpose unless you're trying to give her gifts or something, which, once again, doesn't serve a purpose. But, you know, we now have other people we can go and talk to. Wow, I was looking for a fire crystal for so long. I'm so happy to get this. Hello. Grimoire was a dragon? Surely that can't be. We're up to nine friendship with Emmett, four with Sharon, three with Melody, two with Rosetta, Edward, Camus, Tori, Wesley, Laura, Godwin. We're only at one with Miss John, Lady Anne, Xavier, Russell, Cecilia, Sabrina, Nicholas, Newman, Leo, Felicity, Lucas, Jasper, Tabitha, May, Bianca. But we're not at zero with anyone anymore, which is fantastic in my opinion. Level up. Skill up. I'd like to take a bath. And I'm out of here. So I ended up with two scrap iron, two level one gold, two earth crystals, a level five gold, and two level eight golds. So that's my haul for today. Guys, next time let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, let's see, it was, yes. Okay, today is Russell's birthday. So he has a few different likes, we'll be going into those tomorrow. So guys, Next time, let's make Russell a very happy person. Yeah. As you know, he's a good guy, and we just want to make friends with everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.